Welcome to Step Ahead with Ernie Rivera. This is your host, Ernie Rivera. So, you want to work for NASA? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, the maximum I'm allowed to play of that song. <laughs> so, uh, let's get started about talking about um, how to work for NASA. So it was a couple of summers ago, I joined NASA for an opportunity called the NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars. And in that opportunity, I was able to uh, study and learn from them for five weeks. And the five week session is followed up by a four day, uh, a four day uh, get together with a bunch of scholars at their headquarters. So uh, what did we do over these five weeks? Mainly we were talking about um, a mission to Mars in a couple of decades, and it was our job to to uh, study the Martian terrain, to study how uh, NASA vehicles work, so that we can make decisions as to how how um, the mission would would go. For instance, would would it be uh, make more sense to land on Mars? Would it make more sense to orbit Mars? Would it make more sense to send one person one place while we send supplies secondary? Uh, how are we going to do this? Uh, it was a really, really cool opportunity, um, and and uh, on top of just learning so much, uh, I feel that it really opened the door for future possibilities with NASA, including future internships and uh, future positions, which I'll talk about in just a second. But for right now, what do you need to apply for um, NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars? Well, you're going to need your transcripts with your name, your school's name. You need at least nine hours of STEM classes, uh, uh, nine GPA hours, however that works out. Uh, you're going to need a 300-word essay and recommendations from professors. So I was able to get in with a recommendation from my math professor. He, uh, he uh, really liked me. I really like this guy. Um, uh, great professor. I've had him for several classes. He was the head of our math department. So he was able to write a letter of recommendation for me, and I wrote a letter um, to NASA themselves, 300-word essay, as to why I felt I would uh, be a good fit for the program. And uh, it, it did work out as I got the position, and I was able to join them for five weeks. Um, so what else is there to know about this? Well, uh, the opportunities with NASA go beyond just the community college aerospace program. There are also a lot of paid uh, internship opportunities for upper division students, uh, juniors, seniors in college, as well as um, as well as grad students. Now, what do you need for that? In order to in order to uh, join NASA, I would say you look through one of the companies that NASA works with, for instance, JPL here in Pasadena. Not that I'm in Pasadena, but I'm close enough. Uh, but JPL is a company that stands for Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and they, uh, they work with NASA quite extensively. And uh, they, offer, they offer paid internships with NASA in their company. Um, in order to join, you're gonna need to fill out your your application, you're going to have to have uh, possible past internships on there, as well as as uh, give them your your um, transcripts with a minimum of a 3.0 GPA. So you're going to need to do that in order to join um, join NASA for any of their paid internships. Real quick, along with your resume, along with your letters of recommendation, along with your transcripts, you're going to want to throw in a nice little cover letter there saying, um, Dear, for instance, JPL recruiter, um, thank you for taking the time to look over my package, yada, yada, yada. Uh, sum up your, your experience briefly in a, a paragraph or so. Keep it, keep it neat. Um, uh, I've been through this many units, I've uh, done this and this, I've had internships here and here, and uh, would love the opportunity to uh, learn um, with your company, et cetera, et cetera, to whom it may concern, blah, 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 uh, and your name and such. Uh, but 
Yeah, you know, uh, always, always, always throw in the cover letter there. I would definitely do a lot more research to uh, look at what a nice cover letter looks like, what recruiters like to see, and this is something perhaps your professors can even help you with, so I would recommend asking them. Now, who is NASA looking for? For the Community College Aerospace Scholars, they're looking for anyone with uh, nine units or so of STEM classes, um, and uh, ideally who's interested in um, some form of either space travel or engineering or something like that, but you don't necessarily have to be. Uh, they just want you to be a STEM student who's, who has uh, some interest in, in their work. Uh, now for the paid internships, they're definitely going to be looking for a lot of engineers. They're going to be looking for uh, upper division students over 3.0 who, um, who have experience with electrical engineering, with um, mechanical engineering, with computer engineering. They're going to be looking for programmers. And by the way, um, if you're an engineer, you should know some programming. You should know some uh, C++. You should know some Python. You should know a couple other languages because they're going to want you to know it as well as um, some sort of uh, like uh, drafting program like SolidWorks or, or um, ah, I'm, I'm forgetting, but yes, yeah, just some sort of tra drafting program. Um, that's always going to up your chances. And again, these are uh, very well paid internships. So it's definitely worth learning, especially if you want to get in with the companies down the line. Um, so again, once you have a couple internships with, uh, with this company, it's uh, very easy to get involved with them in the future after you've graduated. You always have that experience on your resume. Uh, that's what they're going to be looking for. They're going to be looking for whether or not you uh, you were a, a good fit with the company during your internships. Um, so remember, it's always an interview. Every internship is always an interview every day. So uh, you do your best. Don't stress out too much, but do your uh, do your best. You're there to learn, and uh, you're there to do a job, help them out, and um, they're going to be uh, looking on that, keeping track of that for the future. So if you want to work for NASA in the future. Um, Definitely start out with the internship if you can start out with the Community College Aerospace Scholars. And I wish you uh, best of luck in all your endeavors with NASA, with space travel, with, um, with all of that. So if you liked our video today, please smash that like button. Please click subscribe. Please hit that notification bell so that you get the new videos as soon as they come out. Uh, this has been Step Ahead with Ernie Rivera. I am your host, Ernie Rivera, and let me play you out. Bye.